Hey folks. Welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Just got a notice as I was cleaning up last episode. A shooting star. A meteor with a long tail blazed in the sky and fell not too far from the camp. It could be a small piece of debris or a genuine meteorite. Unlocks a shooting star expedition. What's that look like? Just since we're here. So off in that distance, we've got five days to deal with it. We've got spaceship debris. We've got cruise ship debris. Spaceship debris had uh, angry animals surrounding it. We fled from that one. This one was on fire, but we could go back when it cools off and get more supplies. And can I go up and down? No, just side to side. And that was the original one. I'd still like to see what that is. So once we figured how to make fuel a little faster, Otherwise, did some more work between episodes, and I tried moving the fireplace that was here over to here to see if we can get... I still don't know how the heat mechanic works. Does it create heat and then dissipate as it goes further away, such that if you were to spread out your heat, it would spread out the footprint of it? Or is it big room equals big cold, and you need big heat to break down big cold <laughs> what's confusing is this temperature right in front of the fireplace where am i 36 it's cold in this house 30 degrees in here is it just because i turned the game on and it needs to rebuild from scratch each time that's possible but this is saying it's below freezing in here right now this guy is really cold we're 19 degrees in the freezer in the walk-in which I got to thinking I may as well just turn the power off and leave it off. This is going to, there's no vent sending house temperature into here. So this stuff is frozen already inside the refrigerator. Um, right there, veggie soup, frozen, 19 degrees. So we don't even have to run power. In fact, can I say turn off? I can. I can turn you guys off until spring and not waste this guy if we do want to run the soldering bench but so by spreading out the fireplaces it didn't make a difference i also got a chance to have Edmund and walk in and out of the door and watch the temperature and it didn't suddenly cool down the uh, the whole house so the idea of an airlock isn't a thing here like it would be in rimworld so i think we're going to have to break this down into some smaller rooms and i already started that process the hallway is going to have to be its own room and this can be one room and then the kitchen complex can be one room so fireplace in here fireplace in here and maybe a fireplace back over here so one two three for one two three rooms and get the archways which don't allow heat to pass through anyway but it acts as a full-on barrier so it will help us isolate the rooms but it'll still look a little bit open you know have it open up in appearance at least so that is the plan there do i have any other important notes going on um uh, no guess not <laughs> but one thing i forgot to mention last time by putting the workbenches on the sides like this simon is transporting he's filling things up um Simon, when you're done with that, can you do this? Move that so I can see it done. Um, is that it still gives you basically a one width hallway, one square shooting through. The it, it looks bigger than it is because there is a space in front of the shelves, so it does look a little more spacious. So we, it's like a multi-purpose use for the same the same space. So Simon is is handling rather than delivering right now he's got a one here he's got a two here handle doing mundane tasks such as lighting torches supplying fuel to devices and opening windows that's what he's doing so why is he not dropping directly into delivering i don't know i did decide that let's see Oh, I got rid of the shelves here where I was going to put all the medicines. So, and I I threw these in last night, had uh, Kana quickly build them. 
so that we could get clothing put into those so we can get our sewing supplies back into here because it was all clothing. And I also realized after I shut down last time that none of these were being brought up because I got these confused. Keep empty and I had a red X. And I was thinking, okay, red X means bad, means don't put things on shelves, but they're not as intuitive, at least not for me. So check mark is what I need What if I don't want them to put things on there. You need a, a happy green to be a negative. <laughs> so now we're going to start bringing things up this time. But and he's, he's moving all the clothes out, but I need to figure out where to put medicines. He pulled them off of here. These are supposed to all be crafting for two, the, the two crafting benches. Hmm. Where do medicines go? And they don't go into wardrobes. Wardrobes are only weapons and apparel. So it's a, either a clothes cabinet or a gun cabinet. But you can't store your band-aids in a cabinet like that. It's unfortunate. They could go in the freezer. We could do something like that. I mean, it's not necessary, but logistically, it, it's, it feels right. It's, it's, it's doable. And let's run the shelves in this direction in case we do want to expand this a little bit. Oh, that's right. There's another snowman. Uh-huh. Um, so if we do want to bump this out and make it a little bit bigger, then we could pop some more shelves in this way and rather than on the end. So let's get them to build some more shelves, and on these shelves we'll put the medicines. And that gives a little more room for crafting supplies out here and sewing supplies. Okay, that sounds good. Um, in fact, let me set that up. Well, I guess we can let this thing run. Slow speed. Uh, I want to get down below here real soon. So show me, actually show me those shelves. No, 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 because that ended up getting full of tea and coffee and other things. So what are you? You are electronics, crafting, and medicines. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to redo it. Copy, get a shelf in here, and... Let me spin around this way, like so, and it wants to think for me. So from there to, well, at this point, it could be to there. All right, and then pop you in like that to there. Okay, and hmm, where's the door? Right there. I suppose it'd be good to get to the medicines within the first hallway. So this guy here, here, you can be just medicines for now, no crafting. You are going to go back to being probably the same as this. So copy, and you are going to be paste. Uh, where am I? Right there. But you are medicines. And that specifically right now means first aid, antibiotics, healing balm, and bandages. Don't know if there's anything else that shows up later game. All right, so that's that. So we can get those off of here. No more medicines here and get those moved. And whoever has deliver should be popping those in real quick. Carter's going to grab something to eat. Walks through the back. Oh, this isn't actually sealed yet. Oh, okay. I'm just debating right now. Should this be a normal wall and some of the cold can bleed through or vice versa and we can chill our hot kitchen with it or during hot heat waves do we want as much insulation as we can possibly get and this should all be a brick wall. It would, well, we have enough wood right now for everything. It's not showing any negatives. Um, hmm. All right, let's go ahead and do that before they bring over the supplies. And Well, I guess they won't anyway, but yeah, let's shut this down. You guys shut down. I got it right. I think I do. Give me a brick wall copy and run you to there. Okay, and we'll have that blue go ahead and build. All right, so down here we had our attack. Carter, I think, has already gone in and made some repairs. We are low on... We've been low on sticks for a while. It keeps coming up. 
So that's all of our torches and fireplaces and that sort of thing. So we do need to, to make that happen. Let's go a little bit further this time and leave our closer bushes in place. And Carter is idling. Weird. Okay, I don't understand what just happened there. Carter's petting dog. He was idling. He will not go away. Carter is petting dog. I can't right click it. Huh. Okay. I don't think he's really idling. That would mean that there's nothing to deliver and he is set for deliver. And there's lots to deliver unless I've got, you know, what I thought was backwards, backwards. I don't know. Carter, are you capable of right click, drink, eat? You're not capable of delivering. That is frustrating. If I were to say empty and deconstruct, Carter, are you capable of? Now, there's no hauling. Um, nope, so that is still not a thing. Okay, so you get rid of that. Survivors are forbidden to deliver resources. See, what's confusing is, does this mean I want to click this in order to make survivors forbidden to deliver resources? Or is this saying that is the current status? So, Simon is reading. Maybe if we watch Simon, when he finishes his reading, will he then pick up a big pile of this stuff and bring it home? Green check. Green check. We don't want anything left on these shelves. So, last time they were still bringing things down to here when I realized that they were all still active and not forbidden. Um, so, well, Simon's done. Let's, let's hang here and watch. So, he is loading up to take up there. You brought in the tin leather. Okay. Yeah, each shoe is going to be its own trip. There's going to be a lot of individual trips, unfortunately. I wish they could carry more than one thing at a time. Um, but anyway, we're all repaired here, and I shifted this over to start accepting bricks, right? Yeah. I don't know if you can put more than one thing in a box. Let's say wood and bricks, in case it can combine a little bit. We are going to need both to make repairs down here. Um, and somebody's already delivered all the wood. So Carter is constructing a wall. He is constructing because it's no more uh, moving to do that is called constructing. So he's now no longer delivering and is constructing. I see. Well, we do want these four walls done anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if we should get him to do some salvaging. It'd be nice to tear down one of these ships for good and see what happens when it leaves the scene. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, where are you going now? Oh, you're going to build all these walls too. Okay. Well, in that case, I do want to connect this up and get that, get an archway in there. And I cannot put an archway over this, unfortunately. It will not let you place anything in an archway. It's really frustrating. That double archway. Is it showing me... Where's a wall? There, double archway. But even if I put walls in there, it, I'd have to put walls in first. And of course you can't put a wall through. Then when you put the archway in the wall, you can't take this and move it to here. It doesn't like that. So I can't leave it there with an arch through this space. So, actually I could move this down one though. I could do that. Okay, move right there okay carter uh yeah carter you move that next i've got kana just locked into sewing now we need to get toques we need to get shoes we need to get pants there's so many things that need to be done and she has got the most skill to do it so she needs to be left to do that unpowered device soldering bench okay because i did turn this off right i did okay so that is off these guys um, again, we're, we're at 19 degrees in there. Um, close towards 26 degrees. So, it has warmed up a bit. Oh, okay, there is that. In that, if our days do get to 36 degrees outside, or where was I when I said that? 40, 42 inside. 
then our food could start deteriorating again. Okay. Hmm. But I would love to conserve the fuel. I really would. There's 18 hours worth. Be nice to get Edmund into a quick little expedition and go see what that very original mission was. You guys are how far? I think I started you from scratch. Yeah. So we're going to get 60 all at once here soon. Simon is transporting, getting, bringing bricks down there for emergency supplies. Good. Um, Edmund transporting. Umair transporting. Carter is constructing. Kana is tailoring. Paulette is cooking. And Rita is training. Okay. So... Everybody's pretty much doing what we need them to be doing. It's going to be kind of a boring couple of days where they start filling all this stuff up. So, Carter, it might be a great idea if you start working on these next. Let's build these and build um, those. And let's get more space available. I don't want them to stop bringing things up just because we ran out. There's 400 and... 30 berries coming up. I have a feeling that's going to wipe out the rest of this shelf. We already have the materials here. Though I see he must have must have had all that in queue already. Yeah. So you're going to do that. It'd be nice if Kana could work on constructing these just to give her the experience. So when you're done with that, go ahead and add these to your list. All the materials are there. You just have to build. Okay. Simon is carrying berries. He's going to fill up a good chunk of this shelf. He's kind of finished the shelf. So, Umair, where were you planning on taking that after um, Simon had done his his pass there? I don't know. But now you... I guess you're just going to top off uh, piles? I guess so. Okay. Um, Carter's going to finish these... And Kana's got these in her work, work queue. And I guess Kana could pretty much do all the rest of these too. How many mills do we have right now? Um, right there. Six, two. Paulette, when you're done, let's have you do the next tailoring job. So wait for Kana to finish. We'll have Kana do a bunch of constructing jobs. She's actually in the twos now, so she's not too far from that magic two and a half, you know, level two and a half that lets her start to build the floors and walls. So, Paulette, when you're done, you're going to take over sewing a new beanie. And Connor's going to toss that into the wardrobe. Yep. And we will have hats. It'd be nice to see if they would come pick them up on their own rather than me telling them to do it. Carter is constructing a wall. Okay, you're going to get these done. Oh, that's right. Got to make sure... He couldn't build this wall last night. I had to have this desk moved out so he could get into it. He can't lean over. <laughs> just can't build a wall with something in front of it. I don't know what's up with that. But <laughs> so we'll let Carter go ahead and just, just build. Kana, when you're done with those, I want you to take on these. Kana, construct wooden floor, paused. Now, let's try to align better. Kana, right there. Why can't I get a hold of that door? Waiting for other construction. Oh, you can't build any of these until there's a floor. Okay, good. Then you continue doing what you're doing. All right, Evan's bringing more over. So are we getting a little bit emptier over here? Uh, Rita is fertilizing. Okay. Good. Does that help us? 64%. I don't know if we're going to be able to do any harvesting throughout or not. We're still at 94%. I mean, RimWorld, this all would have just destroyed and gone away. and We'd have to replant everything soon. Starving animal. So, we have slop, don't we? Where is that? Here? We have zero. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, Rita, when you're done, you're going to feed... No, it's right there. Okay, so how do we deal with that? Dog. 
goes out over here on his own. Rita, let's move Dog's food to where I've seen him twice get out on his own. So he leaves and he goes outside and comes to here. At least while this is available. Once this all gets sealed up, he may then not be able to even do that. We have to move him to this spot here so he can go out the front door. Maybe as a distance thing. But if we can get the feeder moved to here. Uh, Rita, since you're out here, you're fertilizing. Can you reserve by Kana? Now you go ahead. You do that one. Kana is where right now? You are moving the distillery, so you keep doing that. Oh, she didn't have to build the distillery. She just had to move it. I see. So, Connor, when you're done, you can build this. And it's already in your queue. And can you build the chair? You can. And all the materials are loaded. Good. So that is happening. The medicines are all gone. So they've been moved to here. Good. So little by little, another maybe this is the last episode of, of moving day. <laughs> it was, it's been moving week. It's been moving season. So we are... Well, we've ticked over to winter. We should get a notice sometime soon about uh, having a like a New Year's Eve celebration. Or uh, celebrating the new year. We'll word it that way. Fuel? Not yet. That thump? Starving animal. Okay, did that happen? Rita is... Has moved it and is eating. Okay, that worked. So, dog should be self-contained now. Rita's going to collect more poo. Is there more, more poo out here? For... I see there's some over here. So, manure 100. Use it. Rita, if I reset you, will you find a closer... Yes, now you're going over here. Otherwise, what is out in this area? Another 195. So get rid of the X and leave it green. See, this time green is good. The other time green was bad. Mm. I think we need a, a different way of saying it. It's like, it drives me nuts on my, my, my phone. I, it shows me a bunch of symbols. In the same space you could have put a word. What does that symbol mean? So, don't give me three... You know, three lines stacked on each other. Just say settings. People. Anyway, we've got a little bit of resetting to do. We've got how long before we have fuel now? We are still a ways to go. It's still tomorrow. Okay. And we're using all of our manure at this point for um, fertilizer. Insufficient 36 sticks. I need someone to go knock sticks down. And that can be anyone. So, but Simon's been doing a lot of transporting. It'd be nice for it to use his speed, but it'd also be nice to, to strengthen him up. Who else could be strengthened up here? Um, Umair, you still have your, well, at least 20 of it. And appreciated decor. Your, I guess you're starting to get a little bit, your plus 15 is stacked in there because you're delivering. But despite that, you're still in great shape. Okay, where are you delivering right now? There you are, you're just moving internally. Why don't you come out and do this job while we can still justify getting you outside for a little bit longer. So you see the yellow around it. These are the only ones that are gonna be affected by this. It took me a while to, to notice that. So we're gonna cut these, that means over here, you guys, and then over here, that's the rest of you guys. So there's three. You got you come over, cut all those. And that's going to get rid of that deficit right there. And what else has been kind of just waiting and waiting? Um, Kana, can you? You can construct the floor now. You've caught up. All right. We have a third carpenter. Ooh, good. <clears throat> so... Temperature. We are 31 outdoors. We're still below freezing. Inside here is 33. We've warmed up a little bit. So we're now officially above freezing. And 33. So this is no longer frozen. So it will go bad in eight days. And it's going to be that way 
I wonder what happens if I'm running the refrigerator. Will it continue to maintain refrigerator temperatures? Or will it allow it to freeze if the room freezes at night? Again, though we are sealed, we have no vent. So we're not going to be putting any warmth in here like we're putting into the bedrooms. So now we are up to, where am I, 37 degrees. Okay, so Carter, let's get this built. Uh, copy a wall through here and give me an arch. Copy. I want an arch. And I can't put it there either because it's obstructing the archway. I guess we're going a little arch here. We're not going to get the aesthetic of a nice wide open archway. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, so housing doorway wooden right there. So Carter, you are over here. You're going to... No, I wanted Kana to do that. So you are going to construct... Paused. Oh, I guess you're tackling something over here. Okay, you're going to construct that. And did you already get the doorway? Um, I can't tell. There. Carter, you're waiting for the wall to go in. Okay. So, Carter, you're going to do those. Kana, you, one more time, are going to get to do this one. Okay. So, that gets that in, and hopefully then we... Oh, we need one more fireplace to finish this plan. So, you, copy, drop you in here. Where's the chimney? Why did it do that to me? Okay, that was wild. All right, so Edmund, you are eating. Hmm, I could wait and let someone naturally deliver these supplies. We are out of oh, that's cement. Out of we have stone. Is it here? It isn't. That's sheet metal or scrap metal. Hmm, I have to go get it. But the sooner I get it built the sooner we get to start warming things up and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so Edmund, as soon as you're done eating, get work on this one immediately. And I forgot to mention last time that in between those episodes, I stuck this big guy in to use only for leather or hides. I wanted to get more of the meat drying and the hides took up my drying rack last time. So, although I see they've, they've already stripped these down, good. Unpowered devices too. Does someone build a, oh someone built a light? Okay, there's a reason to get you turned back on again. Alright. I would like to see the lights running. So let's go ahead and do that. Get that light going. This light is probably soon. Uh, in fact. Hmm. Just wondering if Connor should be doing this or actually I, yeah. When you're done, what are you looking like? You need to relax. You're you're getting close to close to cranky. Okay, I've had you pretty much. Uh, no, you want to go make another beanie? Okay, good. So you do that. You don't have to do any more building projects just to get you skilled up. You're you're hitting the minimums for all the important stuff right now. Uh, good. Umayer hit physical one. Did these? You are still cutting. Okay, so when you are done, your Q is 13 more. So just to make sure you don't pull a Paulette, when you're done, haul sticks. There's your 14th job. <laughs> of course, he may, if he gets tired, he may cancel out everything at the end and lose that too. I don't know. Um, otherwise, probably nobody is set to come out here and do this because I've got everybody on transport. So Carter is drinking. And you need to build this, construct, and then you need to turn this on, and then you need to build this. At the very least, missing resources, those two alloys. Uh, if I do that, will that drop on the floor? If I do that, it'll drop on the floor. Then Carter you can build this. Then we can put this back in. Copy, paste. Okay, 
So now we can get some lighting in and see what that looks like. I mean, this looks good, but it's probably insufficient. Do you have a in the dark when you're sleeping? Probably not. Simon is going to sleep. And in the dark went away as soon as you came in because of the lights. I guess that's enough light officially for the bedrooms. Did you get a disturbed sleep? You did. Okay. So soon we will have another seven, another four bedrooms and everybody will have their own space. Then we'll find an eighth person and I, we're just going to have to marry two of them off because I don't want to build another bedroom. <laughs> We'd almost have to make one of these into a hallway and a craft room. Yeah, for the soldering bench in one of these, maybe some batteries and a hallway and the stick another addition out here or something. Um, yeah, insufficient fuel. Oh, we have a light. Okay. So that's what our lights look like. That actually looks pretty good. It does. Um, Carter is got to go outside to build it. Oh, you had an extra. Okay. You... He cleaned up his mess. All right, tap, 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 and we're done. And what's this going to look like? Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. It could use a little help over here. And we could get another bench over here. Maybe that's where the soldering bench goes. Hmm. Or we get more seating in here. This is, I want a bunch of, of uh, leisure chairs. Synthetic armchair. <clears throat> synthetic? I didn't mean to go with synthetic. What are our choices here? I want to save the synthetics for some, uh, maybe some armor or something later. Uh, furniture, armchair, synthetic, and cloth. Takes alloys. They all take alloys. I think I, I saw blue instead of white. So you are a cancel and furniture, armchair, cloth, armchair. You're going to go there. Okay. All right, so now I should say 12 alloys, not two. Hmm. So what's happening here? Rita, Rita is still fertilizing. It is midnight. We need to get you done. So that is your last bush. And haul things in. Right there, haul. And did that clear out your... Yeah, you're just transporting now. 27, you're going to get rather the, gather the rest? You're not. So try that again. Haul sticks. Or are you ravenously hungry? <laughs> I'm only going to haul one pile and I don't care. <laughs> okay, so... Fullness, that's ravenous right there. I see. Happiness is actually getting low on you, and that's not something we've seen before. So you're liking P Rita and Paulette, not caring for Carter, Edmund, or Simon. So liking the ladies, not caring for the guys. Um, Carter, kind of the same thing. And, uh, yeah, kind of the same pattern throughout, huh? Ah, ah. Uh, so no marriages are planned anytime soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe if I can keep them getting them all stressed out, they'll start to enjoy life again. So, constructing... Oh, the fireplace. You went to go get the stone. Okay. After this, you need to go to bed. And maybe by morning, we'll get a better sense of heat. So we have a room here now. We have a room here now. In front of the fireplace, we're at 52 and that's and warming 53 we're gonna see a 54 now that we're closed off and sealed up are we going to accumulate over time is what I'm wondering about Rita came up she's going to bed now she came up from fertilizing no seem to be level off of 53 so as we get out to the perimeter we drop into the 40s otherwise we're in 50s and 50s by the fire this room same thing 50s must be this temperature minus outside you know must be something to do with how it's calculated we're still below freezing in our bedrooms we've only just turned this on it's saying it's 50 in here 30 outside risk of meltdown where are you right now
You want... Why are you going down here to drop it off? I thought we killed these things. You... Keep empty. I'm so confused. I don't know what to say. We've been keeping empty here. Why are we not keeping empty here? Did I miss something? Or did you refuel a lamp that doesn't need to be here anymore? No, they're, well, they're waiting to be... Okay, I need to get somebody. First one up. Paulette. Oh, you got your rest in. Oh, that's... That's, that's Kana. Paulette. Got her rest in. Kana. Got her rest in. And they're off to work. Interesting. Anybody grab the uh, toques that are in here? They did not, so I'll need to assign that. But I need to find someone to go down there and just assign them to get rid of all of the the torches and, and uh, fireplace fire pits down there and make that not continue to be a thing. So you are coming in to eat. You have not slept today. That's going to be testy. We'll see how that works. I might have to intentionally tell you to uh, get some sleep. Um, what do I want here? You're at the bottom. Let's say anything through here and let you choose to catch up on your sleep a bit. I'm, I would like to... Uh, I'd kind of like to finish this series and, and know that none of them had ever broke. I wonder if that's even possible to keep from stressing them out throughout the entire... Or overstressing them throughout the entire run. I never found anything else out here that had been attacked and butchered. I still don't know why that one bug had roamed so far away when all the other ones went to attack us. So he kind of went the other direction, which made you think he had gone the other direction originally to go and attack something. <clears throat> so maybe something else went and ate it immediately after. Um, nobody's still down here. No. You guys are where now? We're right there. A lot of rumbling going on. Is that here? No. Is it just a very localized space with a... No, I'm hearing it out here too. A lot of rumbling. So, did this get turned back on? It did. And, yes, yeah, right, lights are running. Okay. You are... Meteor rain. Ooh. During this disaster, metal containing meteors fall to the ground, dealing damage in the blast area. <laughs> blast area. That's like blood zone. <laughs> Stay out of my blood zone. <laughs> okay. It's going to get even more exciting. Um. Carter is constructing a torch. Carter, I think you're the one I'm going to grab today to work. So everybody else has got assignments. Paulette's going to cook. Rita is going to fertilize. Simon is going to haul. Edmund is going to haul. Kana is going to sew. And Umair, you are going to go back to researching, which we're still waiting to find out the final effect of that. So you are here, here, and... That comes off, and research now trumps that. All right, you're going to sleep. Where are you right now? There you are. Playing darts. Can I get you to just sleep? Yeah, just go to sleep. And just stay there until you're done. Wow, that noise. Yeah, disaster impending. So that's probably the, the actual start rather than uh, the notice. So maybe... So if everyone's got things to do, I think, Carter, I want you to come in here and disassemble handle. Okay. So let's double-click both of those and deconstruct. Uh, we don't have another one there. We do have... Oh, did that get all three? Got all four. Where was the fourth one? Over the stoves? I think it's sitting... Yeah, I'm not sure. And then, I think just deconstruct these two. Okay. So, Carter, can you immediately... 
Uh, let's do this one. Deconstruct two. And then deconstruct two. So I gotta find the other two. I know where one is. Oh, they're both over here. And then deconstruct two. Alright, you take care of all those. And I could have you just... Snow starting. Tear down this whole structure. Long term, what is this structure? If we have animals, I probably don't want them to be in the uh, in the crops. So that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm trying to keep a good view for whenever this first meteor is going to come in. So Carter just made some stone by taking the, the fire pit apart. Okay. Hmm. Well, what can we tear down? This needs to be moved. Let's set that up. To where, I don't know. That single archway there might be a good place for you right here. Okay, you're there. I had to put the dartboard outside because it wouldn't let me put it here because it interfered with an archway. Wouldn't let me put it here because it interfered with a vent. So, it's outside. <laughs> it You can throw over a log pile, apparently. <laughs> okay, so, Carter, you could take these two structures down. This shelf is done. So you could take... Let me put some roofs up here. You could take these two st structures down. I don't know what I'm clicking here. There. 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 Deconstruct. Okay. And you could deconstruct this. So Carter, when you're done, let's deconstruct... Okay, three are already in queue, so we'll do the fourth, and we'll do the shelf unit. Okay. Um... We could leave a small structure here for now with a table under it for some unknown reason. Stick some berries on a shelf and have a quick meal available, not having to walk all the way up there to deal with it. I think there's something to that. This can go away, deconstruct, and I think this whole structure could go away. So all of this could deconstruct. And Simon, or Carter, you could do that, and you could do that. All right, so that tears a lot of this area down. Um, I've got to leave all this till the last of the stuff is taken away. This one could go away now, too. Yeah, so you can deconstruct, and Carter, you can handle this one. Okay, so that's all of that. Now, meteors. Pull up a little bit more. Cloud going over, getting dark. Simon's transporting... Oh, transporting meaning you're bringing building materials out there. Okay, you're doing that. So it is possible to get injured with these meteors coming down. But I've heard that they're not supposed to hit buildings. So Carter's kind of safe with these buildings right, right here. So will we see any of them? I wonder. Maybe I'll leave it more like this. And what there? Well, that's just a regular meteor. Hmm. Like when the game first started and the yellow you know, spaceship parts were coming in. I wonder if we will see ahead of time something inbound. I don't know. We'll kind of stay wide for a while and see if anything comes into view. Otherwise. I think things are just doing what they need to be doing. Yeah, we may... Sp oh, oh, there we go. So, yeah, they look just like the spaceship parts coming in. Wow. And that gave us three ore deposits. Okay. Do I mark them? That's a long ways away. No. And that did... That would do quite a bit of damage, whoever it hit. That's for sure. 
Okay. So in that case, where are we now? 11 o'clock. Your sleep is pretty much there. Let's let's get your day started. You're okay now. So what do we have going on here? We don't need the big rush for bricks like we had before. So when these get turned back on, I think it's time to take some of the forevers off. Yeah, can I do this and see down there? Let's do... I hear something. Or is that wind? Up. Is that a meteor coming in? No, that's just wind. Nope, there it is. Yeah, it is kind of a roaring noise. So you are heading into here. Oh, way over there. Okay. So it's going to be uh, merciful on us and put the blast zone not quite on our heads. Good. Um, I hear another one. What was I... I was checking these. So you... Ore... Until... No, the ores can stay forever. There's no other use for ore, but bricks can become an until. Until one for now. Insect facts. Okay. Let's see what that says. Large, juicy insects have a lot of fat tissue. We could use a cold press to extract it from the meat. We will need some cloth to filter the, this stuff out. So let's make one of each and see if that triggers any new research. So extract you one and extract you one. Okay. Did that trigger anything already? No. Looking for another fuel canister. Takes fuel and... Oh, 10 fuel equals 10 synthetics for chemical cloth synthesis. Okay. Anything else pop in here? I really want to get into batteries. And... Research energy storage. Energy storage requires electronics. Which I'm pretty sure we could get from working on this guy. If Carter... Constructing a torch. So if you would go and construct all of these torches, you're actually, except for relaxation, you're in good shape. So construct those two as well, and then salvage. Okay. So that will get batteries, hopefully, closer to happening. Um... Okay, between episodes, I'll go through and min-max these guys, and we don't need to be constantly making bricks. Once I put them back on their original routines again, that's going to be a thing. Once, um, Handle comes in. And you just came over to visit, huh? Okay, hello. Uh, Meteor Rain is gone. So that was it. A couple of bangs out there, and maybe one or two I didn't notice. Alright then, where am I? 40 some minutes into this and is there anything more truly exciting to watch or should I just turn this on it would be nice can I get all four to extinguish these and only use them when we actually have an attack so Simon you run out here and do this you're faster you can get here quick handle torches and handle torch and then hopefully you will Make your way back and haul in the closest thing. So Carter has disassembled quite a bit. Oh. They're not on a shelf, but I could still get rid of the shelves and just leave them underneath a, a, a roof. So you're not really technically outside. Um, shelf life under roof is a still indefinite. Okay. Hmm. You are now almost there. You'll be done tonight. And the snow is really building up. It is. Okay. Um, oh, you're just sitting in the tree. Pankow, I thought you, thought you dropped onto the ground to do something. But apparently, uh, Carter's scavenging has drawn your attention. We're at 1,500 hours. Oh, another one? What did I just see there? Maybe it's a shadow I saw moving around. Hmm. Okay, so Simon is transporting... 
Roots. Uh, true roots. Okay. You're grabbing shoes. You're grabbing shoes. And let's evaluate shoes for a minute. Do I... Okay, do we get a negative for having bad... We don't. So though their stuff is tattered and falling apart, it doesn't seem to be embarrassing them. And it doesn't seem to be taking away their ability to stay warm. So those all feel a little bit, I don't know, obtuse? You know, not, not quite right. But um, maybe that's something that will be cleaned up later in the game. This is still early access. But I don't necessarily need to tell them to go and change them. I think they'll do that when they hit 0%. I'm just wondering how many more beanies. Let's... Okay, times. Okay, that that's done. Then we're going to drop into the untills. So everybody's got the ability to put on a stocking cap, which probably should be an immediate kind of thing. But will you stop what you're doing once I click this? Who is nearby? Simon is on his way in. Let's let's experiment with Simon. Will you drop that and run in and get a hat, or will you do that next? So I want you to put on a beanie. And you dropped it, and you got to do it right now. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> now you got to make two trips. Okay. So I can't just go through and click that on everybody until they're actually in the house. So, and Umair, you are not... You've got one. Okay. But you're probably not going to be doing a lot more outdoor trips anymore. You're going to be cooking and researching and sleeping. That's... What if they get cabin fever after a while? I don't know. Rita is getting something for something you're cooking look at that so Rita has dropped into her next number two because there's no more planty type things to do that's good to see the system works took us you know 38 days to test it but <laughs> that's the first time there's not been any uh, any natural farming projects to get done. So Paulette, you're here, and Kana, you're here. So we'll deal with you two. Um, Kana, put on a hat. And who'd I say? Paulette, you can put on a hat. Unpowered devices, five. We ran out of fuel again. We are 33 outside, so we're still just barely above freezing. Or barely, yeah, so we're, we're warmer than freezing. Um, inside here, we're 40 degrees, though. Wow. Okay. So, Kana is tailoring, and that's important. Paulette, how have you been doing? We have quite a bit of food going on. Paulette, can you make... I need you to haul in a whole bunch of poo. That's really what needs to be done. Where is that right now? Manure 15. Do we have poo on the shelf? Here? Manure, 378. Does that mean that's our manure, or is that is available to us? 38. You need 40 to make fuel. That's what I was getting to. Okay. Um, so you need to go get some. But if you can get it in, then we can start making fuel um, more easily. So where to? Let's grab this whole area here, and that gives us 200, and it's all available. So, double click. How do I... It's just kind of all over. Okay, so I see it there, 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 there. If I send you out to get this one, how many will you actually find? Scavenge 43. Good. Unfortunately, it's still just scrap metal. Carter, how are you doing otherwise? Can I make you do another one? Your relaxation is bad, but your happiness is still decent. Because everything else is still decent, except for hunger. I'm going to have you do one more. Let's do this again. You can bring both of them in one more time if that next round is just uh, sheet metal, scrap metal. Okay. You're going to do that. Anybody else still out here? No, we're all up there now. Uh, bird in my face. Bird wings. Nobody's out there doing anything. We still don't have fuel to send Edmund off. 
Uh, we've got our first pair of boots made. Uh, Kana. Great. So whoever runs out first should hopefully just walk in and change it out. So kind of keep an eye on that. Carter needs these three. Um, I see we're getting low on spears too. And Rita was the one that was running out too. I don't want anybody running around with no pants. I see that on almost every YouTube series of this game, everyone's in the middle of winter running around with no shirts and no pants in their underwear because they didn't take the time or care enough to make sure that they had clothes made. So we're not going to be one of those series. <laughs> Though, Carter, it is stinking cold out here. Well, we're 31, just below freezing. You are low mood. You're getting there. You're not going to make it. Why don't you go ahead and grab something to eat? You can finish that another time. Uh, Simon is transporting. So everyone, mood-wise, and I just saw that right there. So Carter has dementia. That gives him 10% of, minus 10% of consciousness. Edmund, this did not change. So you are still stuck with the two minus fives. Okay. Otherwise, how are we doing? Uh, good, average, average, total happiness for Edmund. He is having a blast. Why is that? He's got his own spacious bedroom. He punched on a pole. He appreciated a decoration. And we've researched flamethrowers. Woohoo! Kana is total happiness as well. Played music. Well fed. Appreciated decoration. And she still has a little bit of survivor's determination. Umair, you are in good mood. A good mood still. Though I worked you all night last night. You didn't come home till dawn. So, we're in pretty good shape. Paulette is hauling in the poo. And you're taking your time. Simon, where are you? Um, you are transporting and you're in a low mood now. Okay. Paulette, I would think you would be soon. No, you're still good. Once that comes in, we're going to be pretty much above freezing soon. Um, I mean, below freezing, I think, by middle of the night. We're down to 39 in here. No refrigeration, no lighting. And there are no extra walls around. Well, there's this one. Oh, can I put... I can put torches over the workbenches, can't I? I can. So we can go ahead and do something like this here. Okay, so backup lighting. There and there. Not here, though, because of the punching bag. Not there because of the fireplace. Okay. Do we want one in the bedrooms? I don't know. So that takes care of this whole area. No, there's a wall in between. So we could go here because that's officially a separation in the room. And what happens here? Does this go there? Or does this go? This goes there. Yeah, move. You go here. And that gives us instruments in the corner and chairs kind of in a circle yeah we'll we'll play with that another time food is filling well oh, we can't see in here okay we're gonna need lighting in this area as well that is you copy and i can see needing one kind of Power cell research i have dabbled in some advanced diy and have a vague memory of how power cells are made. It should be possible to research them without a sample. Unlock power cell assembly. Great. And with decreased research time. Perfect. How do I sell? I click right there. Okay. And I lost my light fixture. Is there another one here? Right there. So I'm thinking you can go here? It would actually go over the top. It's high enough. Let's do that right over the top of that we should light up these shelves and these shelves with it we'll see how that looks i may have to move it over one square a little more center of the room um otherwise where am i yeah coming up on that one hour ish mark creature comforts i've seen that twice what are those creature comforts that you're talking about 
right there. I like the floor covering in my room. So we tra trade a negative 5 with a positive 5. So a, a 10 mood swing overall. Otherwise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're all in bed. We survived another day. We survived a meteor shower. Um, we've scavenged. We've looked at. We've got flamethrowers, a large bottle of liquid fuel, and a th and a thick enough metal pipe is all one needs to make a flamethrower turret that generates five meter long cone of fire. But we can't keep fuel enough in the in stock just to keep the power going. So we need to get the electronics going. We really do. Okay. Um, we need to get this crafted. Hmm. Oh, we need to get a circuit board crafted since we're not randomly finding one down here. With that, we can then get solar panels, batteries, all the rest of it, and get power from other sources, not just fuel, which, I, yeah, I'd rather have more of a passive than an active Something that can just collect all the time. Wind power has always been a problem with this game, but they promised with this last uh, update that that's been, been changed. But it'll be a while before we can test it. Otherwise, are we done? I think we are. Did we ever make an insect fat? No, we don't have handle going, so they never got around to it. So I think I can, in between episodes, shift everything back to turning handle on and kind of getting ourselves back to normal again. We're... For the most part, we're done down here. There's still some things left. There's all the crafting supplies left. They're doing it in the order of distance, so they've cleared out all of this now. Yeah, so we get all this torn down, all this torn down. So, yeah, I think we're... Oh, we are just about there. And you are loaded. Yep, fuel is happening. Okay, folks, I'm going to call this one done. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.